Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New Jersey, and what a day it is in New Jersey today. Have I got something for you? This is something been very long awaited in the barn shop. It's a mill! Specifically, it's an ENCO 30 mill drill. As the name mill drill suggests, it really is just an overgrown drill press with a machining table. Power is provided by a one and a half, two horsepower split phase induction motor and it is broken because some idiot lost the detent spring to this. So what I'm going to do is replicate this switch functionality with relays and go through some basic pixie wrangling with you. This is a double pull, double throw, medium current relay. Got contacts that are marked L and R here. It gives you your normally closed contact. When there's no magnetic field, this contact is made up from here to here, and you're normally open. When there is a magnetic field, the contact from here to here is made up. To make the action of that switch, we need two of those guys. What we're going to do is use the normally open contacts on one relay to make up our phase voltages, and we're going to use the combination of normally open and normally close to make that reversing action. What we need to do is now make our control circuits for that. We've got some mechanical contactor switches here. These are momentary switches. That means there's a spring return. I don't press this and it stays pressed. This contactor has a cam on it. We'll look down in there and see what's happening. When I press the green button, it makes up that contact. and. Likewise, on the red one, it's got the same cam, but this is what's called a normally closed switch. So when this cam gets pressed, this breaks contact for that. What this is, is this is just an automotive relay. And what that does is this gives me a path from here through this switch back through this normally closed contact. When this picks up, this also picks up, and because this is normally closed, it stays picked up until I break this circuit and de-energize both coils. We need one more thing here. We've got another cam-operated contact. This cam's in here, and in one position, this is made up, and in another position, woo, it isn't. So that's going to let me select which phase I'm connecting the starting coil to forward or reverse. So let's go over the circuit diagram for this right here. What we've got is we've got our starting relay here, a normally open and a normally closed contact, and it has two sets of those. We have our forward reverse relay, and the other thing we have is our seal end relay. We're gonna put that in series with our start stop relay. And this just has our one normally open contact. We want our normally closed stop switch to cut out this circuit here. So what this start stop relay does is it cuts our phase voltage. Phase A here, it's phase B. And we want our start push button to pick up this relay. What we don't want to have happen is we don't want to have to hold this start button down. So this is what the seal end relay does. It goes back to here, provides this voltage here. So when this picks up, this closes and keeps itself closed along with the starting relay. All we really need for our reverser switch, um, all this does is changing the phasing of that starting coil and that takes care of forward and reverse. So let's build this. So we're powered up on the starting relay here, and you can see that this works. I uh, needed to make one small change here. The seal-in relay needs to be in parallel with this, not in series. Reason for that is these are fairly high impedance. Putting them in series, you're having their operating current, and the seal-in relay wasn't picking up. Just gotta get the forward reverse working now. And here we are. So that's forward, that's reverse, that's run, that's off. 
All right, I'm going to nail this to some tree carcass. So here it is, and I've got it just behind the mill lag bolted to the wall. But nothing left to do but turn it on, see if it lets the smoke out. So when I uh, plug it in, um, the motor immediately starts, and uh, nothing I can do about it. So I'm um, doing some troubleshooting. Moron. Those are the normally closed contacts. Looking successful here. I can start it. Stop it. Change the direction. Ah, looks right. So it turns out the same idiot that lost the spring threw out the drive belts. I can't get them tonight. So I'm going to call it a day. Thanks for joining me on this. I hope you learned something. And I'll try better next time.